Tower clear. Now 10 seconds into flight. Chamber pressures on all three RS-68s look good in the full thrust mode. Five seconds into flight. Chamber pressures continue to look good on all three boosters. Now 35 seconds in. Chamber pressure on the core booster is uh, throttling down to the partial thrust mode. Response looks good. Now 50 seconds into flight. Strap-on boosters look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the uh, partial thrust mode. Now one minute into flight. Vehicle trajectory looking good right down the middle of the range track. One minute, ten seconds into flight. Coming up on 1 minute 19 seconds into flight, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure, and Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Port and starboard booster engines continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. One minute, 45 seconds into flight. Trajectory continuing to look good right down the middle of the range track. ACS press valve has been opened. ACS pressure response looks good. Two minutes, ten seconds in. Strap-on boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. And Delta IV has gone to closed loop guidance. Two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. And at two minutes, 39 seconds into flight, the Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. And launch vehicle is now 33 miles in altitude, 49 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. Three minutes into flight. Our 68A engines in the port and starboard boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. Three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Trajectory continuing to look good down the middle of the range track. Approximately two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good on all three boosters. Port and starboard booster in the full thrust mode. Core booster continuing in the partial thrust mode. And standing by for a strap-on booster throttle down momentarily. Port and starboard boosters have begun to throttle down. And we have jettison of both strap-on boosters. Core booster is throttled back up to full thrust. Response looks good. Four minutes, 25 seconds into flight. Upper stage lock system has begun boost phase chill down sequence. And one minute remaining in boost phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. Five minutes into flight, just over 30 seconds now remaining in first stage, first stage phase of flight. 
Core booster engine continues to look good in the full thrust mode. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. Five minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And standing by for core booster throttle down momentarily. Core booster has begun to throttle down. Standing by for Pico. And we have Bico booster engine cutoff standing by for stage step. And we have good indication of stage separation. Parker Solar Probe will now continue its journey to the sun.